Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics 4 video tutorial. Today we are going to run through a tour of all the Google Analytics 4 interface features you need to know. In other words, we are going to tour Google Analytics 4 and I'm going to tell you where to go to find exactly what you want and what are the features that are available. Before we go there, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content, so thank you very much in advance. And off we go. When you access Google Analytics 4, on the left-hand side, you are going to see four different sections. Home, honestly speaking, is a section we never visit. It's just an overview of all the reports that can be found in Google Analytics 4. You are probably never going to use it in your entire career. In my 15 years of working in digital marketing, I never visited the home section on the new or the old interface. The next section, which is the most important one, is called reports. So under reports, this is the bread and butter for all the marketers or everyone who is using Google Analytics 4. You are going to find all the information that are available in Google Analytics or the different reports that the system has to offer. The third section is explore. So under explore, you can create custom reports. We have the opportunity to create different reports. For example, free form reports, the equivalent of custom reports in Universal Analytics. Then we have funnel exploration, path exploration, segment overlap, and a couple more opportunities here for you to create. So remember that explore as a section allows you to create custom reporting within the Google Analytics 4 interface. We have a couple of videos on those reports, for example, freeform, funnel exploration, and so forth. The last section is called advertising. Advertising is relevant to attribution. So you can come here to advertising, you can go to conversion paths, and this is your attribution reports. For those of you who are tracking conversion events and you're familiar with attribution, you know what I mean. In Universal Analytics, we had a couple of reports like path length, uh, time lag, for example. So the equivalent is the conversion path report here under the advertising section on your Google Analytics 4. Now, you're going to spend 99.9% .9 of your time under the section that is called reports and the different reports that Google Analytics 4 has to offer. We have other videos that go deeper into every single report. Today is all about the interface. You need to get familiar with how this tool works. So a couple of things that are going to be very easy. Once you digest those things, you are going to be an expert in Google Analytics 4. First of all, in every report in Google Analytics, you have a drop-down menu, a column here in the first column, you have this drop-down menu that allows you to flip the dimension. This is very important because a lot of people say, oh, Google Analytics 4 has less data or less reports comparing to the previous tool. It is not true. It's just the interface that is different. The way the interface works is that you come here to, let's say, traffic acquisition. You're going to see a report that starts with session default channel group, but I can click here and I can flip the dimension to source slash medium, for example. Or I'm going to go, for example, here to, let's say, my demographic details report. I have a report that starts with country, but I can click here and I can flip the dimension to city, for example. Or I can click here and I can flip the dimension to language, right? So every report in GA4 starts with one dimension to begin with, but you can click here in the drop-down menu on the first column and you can flip the dimension. Same thing here to, let's say, tech details report. So this report starts with browser, but you can click here and you can change to device category, meaning, let's say, mobile, desktop, tablet, and so forth. So that's the first thing you need to digest. The fact that we have less reports, but you can flip the dimension here to whatever you want to explore. The second thing, very easy to understand. On the top right, you can change the dates. You can also click here, compare, and you can compare to different time periods. And then you're going to get these indicators that suggest basically how your website or your business is performing 
in two different time periods. So that's extremely easy to understand. If you want to download or share a report, you're going to click under the dates on this little symbol, share this report. And here you can either share this report as a link or you can click download file and you can download as a PDF or a CSV. Very, very straightforward. From there, very important point. A lot of people complain, where is my bounce rate? Where is my session duration? Where is, for example, my conversion rate? Where is my returning users? Why I don't see, let's say, new users here in the table? Where are all these metrics? These metrics do exist. All you have to do is to click here on Customize Report under your dates on the right-hand side. And once you click on Customize Report, you're going to go to Metrics. You're going to type here, for example, let's say Returning Users or Bounce Rate. You're going to select this metric. You're going to add it in your report. And you're going to Apply and Save. And thus, you're going to customize your report like this. You can bring in metrics like Bounce Rate, Session Duration, New Users, Returning Users, conversion rate like this in your table report, right? So that's how you can customize exactly how this table is going to look like. The next feature, which is very important, is filter. So if you scroll down above the graphs that you see in every report, you're going to see filter, add a filter. Once you click add a filter, then you can filter down to a specific dimension. What this means is, let's say here, I want to see traffic acquisition report, but only for traffic that comes from, let's say, United Arab Emirates. So I'm going to create a filter, click on Add Filter, and I'm going to say I want to narrow to the country, which is, for example, contains or equals, and then here I'm going to say United Arab Emirates, for example, and I'm going to click on Apply. So that's how you can narrow down to a certain dimension using the filter. And then you have another feature that is called the comparison. The comparison allows you to compare two different dimensions. So I want to see, for example, my traffic acquisition performance, channel performance, but I want to compare mobile versus desktop. So I'm going to click here at the comparison, and I'm going to say that my first comparison is going to be the device category, for example, that contains let's say mobile and then i'm going to basically apply this and i'm going to say the next comparison is going to be the device category that let's say contains or equals desktop right so and now i'm going to compare basically the two dimensions i'm going to actually remove our users so the blue line is for mobile the blue section is for mobile, the orange one is for desktop. So now I broke down everything to mobile and desktop. And that's the main features of Google Analytics 4. So one more time, what you need to pay attention to and what you need to actually digest, right? So the first thing is that for every report, there is a drop down menu on the first column. So you can change the dimension. So I can change here to session medium, for example, or session source slash medium. One more thing that I think I failed to, to bring up uh, before, we have this search bar that allows you to actually bring up certain values. So I can search and I can bring up all the values, all the dimensions that are relevant to organic, for example. So that's the second feature. Third, on the top right, we have the date and the date comparison. Fourth, Underneath the date, you can click share this report and you can download this report. Next to the share button, you have this pen that allows you to customize the table. So allows you to actually bring in different metrics or customize how this report is going to look like, which is very, very uh, important. And we have a couple more things as a recap, filtering. So if you want to narrow down to a specific, let's say, dimension so i want to see channel performance but only in japan only for mobile only for let's say a specific page you add a filter you filter down to a certain dimension and if you want to compare dimensions you use comparisons so one drop down menu two the search bar three the date range comparison on the top four 
share this report. Five, customize the report. Six, add the filter. Seven, add the comparison. These seven things are the most important features in the GA4 interface for you to digest. And that was a very quick tour of Google Analytics 4. Now, I know that most of you will have very specific questions on what exactly you want to find out. We have quite a few videos that will allow you to uh, deep, dig deeper into what you can do with GA4. If you cannot find what you want in my channel or any other channel, drop a comment down below and I'll take this into account. I'll create another video on your specific request. Thank you for watching. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next video. Hi, everyone.